Recording? Okay, we're we're recording now. Yeah, go ahead. I'll just I'll just type it as I go. All right, here we go. Yeah, just start. You I, can just start. I think you'll like this. All right, keep your eyes open. Here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome to Game Bite. This episode of Game Byte is brought to you by Jinx.com. Use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 at checkout to get 10% off of your geek gear. Every time you purchase something, we get credit from, from Jinx.com. Use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 and we'll get you guys some shirts for free on the show eventually. So use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 at checkout. All right, DZ. Dude, oh wait, let me, let me lower the volume. Well, okay, I'll have to admit that was a pretty good intro, d- despite the simplicity. <laughs> are you are you knocking the simplicity? Is that despite the simplicity? Despite. Oh, that, fine. The... Sorry. Considering that it's so simple. <laughs> that, you know, it's, 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 it's just great. It's, all right, it's just great. I like. The it intro. sounds condescending, I but I tuned in now. Saw the intro because that was pretty badass. That was, that was good. That was good. <laughs> I, it's just something I, I decided to put together because you know, for the people who watch the video feed, uh, mm-hmm. it's, they deserve a little treat for the intro instead of just just the logo. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so welcome everyone to Game Bite. This is episode nine. It's uh, what day is it? It's March. Twenty-two. It says eleven on the show notes. That's it's Wednesday. <laughs> Mar- I'm, I'm fixing it right now. March twenty-two, twenty. Whoa! Holy spoiler! Oh no, that's. I forgot my numpad is is linked to my soundboard. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. <laughs> we haven't done this in a while. All right, so yeah, I'd like to welcome everyone to Game Bite. It's episode nine, dude. We haven't done one uh, in just a little under a month. Uh, it's, it's the show with Vince and Rocket League and all that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And we'll be having Vince as well as uh, our our other lovely guest host. Uh, actually, he'll, they'll be we'll, we'll consider them our weekly hosts. Yeah, yeah. I just starting gotta get a, touch with them, and I just make sure that <laughs> yeah, you, they're you free just gotta get touch. Yeah, so yeah, start Vince touching them. Vince will be our continuous hosts. Well, guests Con- at least, since continuous. <laughs> the screen on this side is still empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be Gallard, but now we'll have a rotating cast of uh, of of weekly hosts. All right, so we we got a lot to talk about today. We're, we're not gonna have too long of a show for those of you watching. So you better be watching now. Uh, and yeah. actually, if you caught the if you missed the intro that we just played, uh, I'll, I'll be throwing that up on on the Facebook and the YouTube and probably the Instagram as well uh, sometime this week. Along with uh, the the previously unreleased episodes that, that we have stocked up, because we, we've we've been hoarding everything, DZ, and it's time for us to start releasing more content, don't, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> it's just that you know <laughs> we still have to get re- get through our day jobs and whatnot. So those are like super way back in the backlog, but we had to get we had to get over that over that. Yeah, bump. we we gotta quit stalling, DZ. We gotta quit stalling. Yeah, we gotta quit stalling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say more. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I, like how, I like how every time we try to, we always try to emphasize that we should stop stalling. You know, that we're, there's always get a moment of dead air. Uh, Just like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's well, whatever. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> All well, right, so. Know, like, yeah, let's just get on with it. Go ahead, Harold. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> as as we do with uh with every show, uh, I'm I'm gonna start by asking you how what, what you've been playing. Oh, no, no, that's that's. That's me throwing up the chat room from from, from the Facebook. <laughs> what have you been playing, DZ? Okay, what have I been playing? All right. Aside from Breath of the Wild, I've been which playing... It, which we will super... totally talk about later. I, I'm so yes, excited for I've, that. I've got so many gripes of that goddamn game. <laughs> but I fucking love it at the same time. So good. It's like, fuck you, Nintendo, but I love you, Nintendo, at the same time. Anyway, so this other game I've been playing, it's called... 
Egg Incorporated. Oh. <laughs> I I haven't heard of this. No, no. Tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, Egg Incorporated. Okay, it's like a... I just said hi to my mom. She, you know, she's oh. like supporting me right beside me. Hi, mommy. Anyway, Egg Incorporated. <laughs> it's a... It's a absolutely pointless game about just making chickens and getting them to lay eggs. It's like, it's the one game WWF or PETA. Oh, shoot. D Diego's he stopped to PETA. D Diego? Diego? Is that why your mom went in? I, I have lost Diego. Uh, I don't know what to do right now. I think I'm going to... I'm gonna pause. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pause the show, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna stop recording. Yeah. All right. No, so no, still, nothing, happened. nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're still live on Facebook, so no worries. Okay. So you were saying uh, your, Egg Incorporated. Our, Egg Incorporated. Uh, I think our, but that aside, I think our stream froze. Uh, our our Skype screen froze. Oh, uh, you are, you're moving to me. I'm moving to you. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Like uh, you're moving. Like I see I'm... you moving. You're not frozen. Okay, well I, I see it on mine. That's the problem. Can you can you share the screen again? Oh, okay, sure. No, technical difficulty. Uh, you know, like this is this is something people should should come to expect <laughs> with every. Yeah. I was so like I was so ready to talk about eggs. <laughs> this shit happens. Uh, all right. There, is how is it there. now? There we go. It's better now. There we go. Okay, we're back in business. So, okay, back so to my Egg point. Incorporated. Egg PETA. Incorporated. Okay, basically, PETA, I'm... PETA, the WWF. Basically, yeah, basically, I'm... Um, it's a simulation of an egg... Of a chicken farm where you um, create as much chickens as possible because the more chickens you have, the more eggs you... They will lay. And the more okay. eggs that they lay, the more profit you get, right? So the more money you get. Yeah. It's basically numbers games. I can get up to trillions of dollars just freaking breeding chickens. Chicken if only, if only life was that easy. Diego. If only life was that easy. So there is no difficulty to this game. So maybe the only difficult, difficulty setting in this game is your inability to create chickens fast enough. Because this is like the first game I've seen where, okay, in order to create chickens, you have to just keep tapping on the screen. Okay, you have to keep tapping on the screen. A certain portion of the screen says, okay, tap here to create chickens. Okay. And you have this. You have an option to enlarge that that button that you have to tap. Okay, to create the chickens, and that way, and not since the since the whole portion of that screen is enlarged, you can use all five fingers <laughs> to create to, to chickens. To tap, to tap. So you have like tap. You have ten fingers tapping on the screen, creating ten chickens at a time. So imagine if you had like twenty people. <laughs> if you have like you had twenty fingers, you had like uh, you had friends helping you just create. I was like, if you had yeah. twenty people, dude, you would be loaded by now. Like, <laughs> sorry, twenty fingers. Of course, uh, there's some limitations to this game, and there's some limitations in a sense that um, you can't. Uh, there's a there's like a, there's a cooldown to how many chickens you create at a certain point. Um, like you have. Sorry, your... I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but when you say twenty fingers, you you're saying ten fingers and ten toes, or do you have like other people you a, to? Oh, you got a friend. You got a friend. Oh, okay, okay. Cause... But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, like, that, those those stupid mechanics aside. Um, so you can just a few more. You can also upgrade the chicken farm in a sense that you can give your chicken steroids so that they can a lay eggs that are like twenty five percent more valuable, or they can uh, <laughs> they can you can give them um, like chicken feed that's also on steroids, so so that you can uh, so they can the chickens grow faster. Like there are more chickens produced at one point. Um, you can. What else can you do aside from steroids and stuff? That's, you, that's when you start getting those chicken with like four drumsticks. You know, they get they like they have four legs. Like. <laughs> yeah, and and like uh, and of course this um, it's a long story short. It's a freaking pointless game in terms of you won't do it. There's no the only sense of achievement you will get is just knowing that I'm getting so much money because. Because like you can earn up to like, you can earn up a, to a million dollars in like less than a few seconds, which um, it's kind of pointless. It's more of just seeing a lot of numbers go up, which is more satisfying. You don't actually feel yeah. that you're gaining more money. It's just it's all a facade. It's a it's just a toilet game about chickens and laying eggs. Uh, I mean, 
what more could you ask for from a toilet game, right? Like, you don't really want to be super engaged with a game when you're on the can, you know? Like, you want to you want to be able to, like, release what's what's in there while you're, you know, while you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Like, if you're, but, yeah. if you're playing a fighting game, you know, you're kind of, like, you're kind of in the into the game you're trying to beat your opponent and you can't really like drop that deuce while while you're like furiously tapping on your screen yeah and and it's the, the beauty about toilet games is that you know it, it it's it makes your toilet breaks a lot longer you feel more comfortable <laughs> i live for toilet games on, on my tablet <laughs> i, live I, for I wouldn't say i live for toilet games but i enjoy them okay I, fine maybe Let's put it like that. <laughs> anyway, as, well, aside from that, of course, Breath of the Wild, but we can get into that later. How about you, Harold? What have you been playing? So, up until the weekend, uh, I had been playing FIFA 17 because I finally got my hands on it. Uh, there, was a, there was a sale on EA Origin, and I got it for a steal. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was like 60 80% off, and... Uh, so I finally bit the bullet and got it. it was, it's pretty fun. Uh, like I, I'm pretty sure like Football Manager, uh, mm-hmm. which we discussed with uh, I think it was with Mick, uh, yeah. either with Mick or with Vince. Uh, unless you you enjoy soccer in general, that's not really a game you'd play. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna buy NBA 2K17 uh, and have zero knowledge of basketball. You know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes sense. All right, so. Uh, it's it's been fun, but uh, during the weekend, was it? The week? Yeah, dr- on Saturday, I got to go to an event, a, a, one of the local gaming events called Kill Screen Volume One. Thanks to our friends uh, Gwen and Francis, friends of the show, friends of Quit Stalling. Kill Screen. Uh, I couldn't make it to that. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you. You were uh, you were busy with NBA <laughs> with NBA players, ironically enough. Oh. You know, can I just interject since we're talking about like and ex- just since we had that quick spot on sports, I don't know why I get a lot of these NBA gigs or like there's been a, I've had several gigs where I follow NBA players. Like one was uh, Dame 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 Time, whatever. No, out of I feel Damian Lillard something I think. Damian yeah, Lillard. yeah, yeah. That, that's um, his name. Don't don't stress yourself out too hard. Yeah, on and, that. And, there, and there's like a white guy. His um. <laughs> there's Gordon, a white guy. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Hayward. Hayward. Gordon Hayward, hey, there Hayward go, yeah. of, of Hayward, the Utah Hayward. Jazz. Yeah, that, like I don't, I get a lot of these NBA players, and me, I'm like, I don't know these people. The things when I tell my friends who are NBA fans, they're like, "Dude, you're so lucky." But in my head, I don't know these people. <laughs> I'm not done the least bit starstruck. I'm just glad I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, going back to going back to what you said over the weekend, you got the. I mean, uh, I mean, it's kind of like meeting a president of of some country that you know you don't really. It's not really a major power. Like, oh, I, I got to meet the president of Guam. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just lost like our whole Guam fan base. Uh, no, but you, you get what I mean, right? I get what you mean. I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I got to go to Kill Screen Volume One. I'm trying to look for an image that I could throw up on the screen. Uh, it was pretty fun. You know, uh, I enjoyed a lot with our friends, as as one would do with with friends. <laughs> Who uh, wouldn't enjoy, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was pretty good actually. I got to play a couple of new games on. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up a, an image of Kill Screen in just a didn't second. They, didn't they re- aren't weren't they releasing that game one where you were a sniper and then you have to kill certain certain um what you call this um, targets and the targets are like are designed over from people from uh from pop culture like from movie references oh, and whatnot shit. like. Is that it? It's like sniper. That's sniping game from from time zone. From this. <laughs> no, right? Really? It's like that, right? I'm so it's sorry, like, Ronnie. I'm so I'm so sorry, sorry dude. dude. No, I'm so wanna... sorry, Ronnie. It, hey, it's wait, called wait. Shots Fired. There we go. All right. I love that game. It's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I love that game. I was I was gunning to play that. I was gunning to play that um, back in ESGS, but I could just never get it. I mean, we, we we know we never got around to. <laughs> Uh, posting the video that we of the interview and it never, I don't know what happened with that after. Sorry, Ronnie. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, 
Oh man, you can see all my bookmarks over here. Let me, let me close that real quick. <laughs> <What's this? laughs> yeah. All right, back back to this. Yeah. So, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna crop that a little, just a little bit, and then show it again. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it, it was a game called Shots. <laughs> Damn it, DZ. Uh, it's, it's a game called Shots Fired by Crisey. Uh, Crisey is actually a one man from from what I understand is a one man studio uh, from our friend Ronnie. Uh, and they've actually been, uh, helped out by our other friends who we met at ESGS, uh, another indie studio, uh, Vlad, uh, and, oh my god, I'm blanking, I, I talked to them all, oh my gosh, you see, you did, okay, so you, you, did you, you did this to me, you did this to me, you, you did, you did this, you, Ian, Ian Garner, gosh, dang it, DZ, you did this to me. I'm so sorry, Ian. It's all, it's all Diego's fault. It's all Diego's fault. Because, just because I couldn't attend the show. Because I couldn't attend the event. <laughs> you, you threw me off my game, man. You threw... <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, so Shots Fired is a cool game. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if we can throw up some gameplay, but it, it's an awesome game. I, I really recommend you guys check it out if you can, if you can Google it right now. Uh, yeah, it was there. Ronnie was there pimping it out, and he was doing a good job. Uh, and it, it's, it's gone through a couple of changes since we saw it at ESGS, and for the better, I think. Like, how, how drastic were the changes since we played it back in ESGS? No, I wouldn't call them drastic. They're, they're more, uh, visual appeal improvements. Oh, the pixel oh art gosh. is, um... Was Why does this keep happening? Why do I... <laughs> <laughs> the pixel art was enhanced or something. Oh they my god. the pixel art. Or it's more They're of like, uh... freaking... Yeah, uh, no, um... Like, they, they added a lot of things, like, uh... The hub that you go to now to, to pick your mission is based off of... From from my understanding, is based off of Ronnie's work desk and the guys over at Another Indies work desks. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's not just, like, a screen where you choose the mission. Like, it, it's, it's an actual, like... Oh, I'm, I'm here sitting at my desk waiting for someone to hire me to kill someone else. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's a little those small. It's a small change, but it makes a, a big difference. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's stuff like that. And I, I really recommend you guys check it out if if, if you find a way to. Uh, what other games are there? Oh, uh, Flip Velez. You remember Flip? Mm -hmm. Was there with Indigo Entertainment, and they were playing a game called Garrison Archangel. Garrison Archangel. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I really want to show you the screenshot, and I'm gonna bring it up in just a second. It's it's fighting robots, dude. Fighting robots. Yeah, if you ever played like Armored Core. Oh, fucking a! I love Armored Core. Yeah, I think I saw I saw, um, no, I saw I saw this all over, all over Facebook. Uh, yeah, that's the one game I wanted to play if I had been able to go there. Oh, so what happened? The shots fired, man. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm serious. Wait, <laughs> wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. There, there, I can, there can be two games that I want to play, you know? These you are the two games. The one that game. Shot fired. <laughs> and this game, this Armored Core game. I, you know, guys, Diego's a really good guy. You know, he just... He doesn't mean... Like, he, he really means he wanted to play both games. Like, yeah, uh, I'm, call, exactly I'm calling him out unfairly. <laughs> He's, this is the first show we've done in a while, and Diego's he's just trying to get a feel for things, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I gotta ask. This game, is it the kind of uh, mech, mecha game where you can customize your, your mech, or you're, like, choosing between characters, between certain already pre-made mechs? Sadly, you can't uh, customize yet. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's in the pipeline for them, but... You do choose from from uh, a roster of mechs that they already have. A roster, okay, that's okay. But I'm sure those, these mechs will probably be very unique in their own playstyle. Some not like virtual on. Yeah, yeah, they are unique. Like uh, when you go through the the character selection screen or the mech selection screen, uh, they actually highlight the differences between the mechs. So you get like a little info sheet that says good mid range, has shield. Uh, not so good long range, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> it's it's a lot more elegant than that. I swear. Sorry, Indigo. 
it's all right. No, but uh, it's 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 it, it's a good game. I, I gotta say, I I do have my my reservations about. It. I I did uh, talk to the devs, which is why they have events like this. We actually didn't mention why. So, um, real quick, Kill Screen is an event where uh, devs show unreleased games to to the public, and you can test them out. You can give your feedback, and you know it it was great. I. I got to talk to like I got to talk to Ronnie, uh, who was making shots fired, uh, and I got to talk to the guys over at Indigo about Garrison Archangel, and you know one of my comments was the responsiveness of the controls. You know when you when you hit an ability when you just start firing your gun or slashing your weapon, it doesn't feel responsive enough. It it feels like there's lag, even though. Uh, what what's likely happening is you know there's an animation that's like oh he pulls out his gun or he swings his sword before he actually hits you, and okay. it's it's your typical, um, I wouldn't say rookie mistake but it's it's a typical thing that you don't think about right away when you're making a fighting game where, you know when a player hits the X button he wants he wants the damage to happen right away he doesn't want to see like an, a swinging animation he just wants you to hit as soon as you hit that button. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. that kind of lag was what was kind of holding back from the game. It, it felt like an early PlayStation 1 game in certain times uh, because of the controls. So I, you know, it, and that's what these events are about, you know. You talk to the devs and you give your feedback and, you know, they, they, they do a lot with yeah. it. Yeah, well, it makes sense. I mean, uh, there are games uh, that actually do make this mistake as well, but like because it's a fighting game, that is probably the one of the most important things: is the responsiveness of your mm -hmm. your physical finger touching the X button, <laughs> and the actual the actual character performing the act. As exactly. well. Exactly. But is the game at least an, at sixty frames? Sixty frames. Yeah, a second. yeah. If I'm okay, not mistaken, though, and and it's good. good. Uh, it, it's, okay, it's, that's good. When you look at the animation. Uh, you could tell that even like they, they were telling me like it's been like four months in development, but it it's it's felt good. Uh, the visuals are good. I mean, it gets cluttered from time to time with with the sparkly effects and the UI all there at the same time, and you have like this little blinking thing on your lower lower right screen telling you you're getting damaged. But like for for an early for a game that's super early in development, it's really good. You know. Oh, that's good. That's good. How, when is, do we have like a ETA of release date? Uh, no, not yet. But, I mean, I'm sure they're not going to rush it. And I think it's for the better. Yeah. Better, pol I'd rather a polished game be released than something that's half-assed. Because I'm, I, I, nowadays, um, I'm patient, I'm more patient than before. Before, like, once I heard this game is going to be released, it's out. I want it out. I want it now. Oh yeah, well, exactly. Well, it doesn't go like development hell. <laughs> That's a different yeah. story. I, I mean, look look at what happened to No Man's Sky, man. Like the second yeah. they 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 told the public, "Oh, we're making this game," that that's when they screwed themselves. <laughs> it's funny how like a lot of our shows always have to go back into them, <laughs> to go back to that game. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's fine. No, it's great. It's no because that's a like, that's the perfect example of how not to market a game. But I mean, the oh shoot. The game is good though, and it had so much potential. It's just it was rushed out to the market, and it, I, I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep talking about No Man's Sky because this is like the hundredth show where we, we don't have that many shows. It's like the tenth show where we've mentioned <laughs> No Man's Sky. Well, I'm glad you mentioned moving forward because next, because <laughs> next is our next set of games which we have been playing, which you want to get oh, to. Oh, dude. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. What are we gonna talk about? This you know, game is the number I actually, one game. Uh, but oh, before we oh, actually talk about the actual watch. game, I have a story to tell you. Okay, go ahead. Because we, we haven't really talked game. that much since the last show, right? Okay, what you got? So here's the thing. Uh, I lined up in the middle of frigging winter. <laughs> you were in Chicago, right? I was in... I was in I was in Chicago, Illinois. Well, I was in uh, Lagrange, Illinois, which is like right outside of Chicago, and I lined up for the switch, dude, at, at on release day. No way! How how long was the line? Surprisingly, not long because th thankfully we, <laughs> thankfully we got there. Because uh, okay, so here's the thing: it was released on Friday night. Uh, oh no, Friday early morning in in the U.S. So it was Thursday midnight, Friday. Yeah, early morning. 
Uh, and uh, we lined up at eight. We lined up at eight, and there were already like fourteen people ahead of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh no, no, sorry, like eighteen, eighteen to twenty people ahead of us because they were counting how many people were in line, and they were like, at some point they started taking like, uh, they started taking numbers of uh, and like orders of like, okay, what are you getting? The switch, the games, and all that. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it was cool. It was cool, and I want to. I don't want to make the story too long because I want to save that for. Uh, for for future conversations, but it, it was cold. Number one, it was cold. Number two, it was cold. Uh, uh-huh. God damn it, I, this viper! Just keep no, telling okay. your story. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So while Diego is uh on, on his phone, you know, I I, I want to tell you guys at home what I really think of Diego Z. I, I really want to tell you how much. Oh, so Diego's back and uh. <laughs> No, no, no. So I, I waited. I waited in line four hours, dude. It was, it was pretty cool. I got to talk to some people in line, hear their stories. Uh, a bunch of older people were reminiscing about. Oh, remember when we used to do this for like concert tickets? <laughs> I like how you make it sound like he was. He is one of those guys who would go to rock uh, rock concerts. Dude, exa- That's exactly what it was. Oh, that's, that's exactly the guy. Dude, there were so many people in this line. So many people, like diverse people. But yeah, uh, it was awesome. It was a, it was a great experience. I, I definitely wouldn't do it again for the Switch. No, I do it again for like another console. It was, it was pretty cool. Okay, okay. It got up to so, like negative seven degrees. Shit. Yeah, it was so cold that the ice, uh, the White Castle like across the street, like for some reason had ice on their grass, like on their lawn, and the ice wasn't melting. <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. Isn't White Castle like a yogurt shop or something? Or is it ice cream? It's a burger place. What? Harold and Kumar. Have you never seen Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? So, move swiftly moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gonna... Uh, Le- Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> okay. Swiftly moving oh, on. D- Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an amazing game. DZ, tell. Uh, I've only experienced it uh, very minimally because I haven't been playing the Switch. But you, you've you been playing nonstop, so tell, tell us what you think of the game. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> I kind of stopped playing Overwatch just to play this game. So if any of my friends in the in our Overwatch crew are listening, they're going to be... That's why I haven't been on Now you know. Aside, now you know. Aside from work, aside from work, come on. Aside from work, I've been Louise, playing Legend. Louise, get on his ass! No, aside from Breath of the Wild, uh, yeah, aside from uh, aside from that, oh, Breath of the Wild is it's how do I, how do I put it? Um, Nintendo did an amazing job making this game. They revamped their 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 own IP in a way that no one expected. Because for the past years, ever since Ocarina of Time came out, Legend of Zelda has always been like a, a super linear game, a super linear in terms of. Um, Okay, just you gotta go here, then you go here. It handholds you. Um, the story handholds you to where to go next. Go here, do this. Go to go. To, you gotta go do the side quest. You can go to the main mission. Yeah. They make it seem. Sometimes they just make it seem like it's a side quest, but it's for the main thing. And like I just recently downloaded an uh, downloaded an emulator, <laughs> an emulator for Ocarina of Time Master Quest. So I had a good comparison. I was playing that right before Breath of the Wild came out. Nice. And, and when I played Ocarina of Time. The master quest. It was like, shit. Why did I? Why was this game praised for everything? Because when you're looking at it now, oh my god, there's so many things I hate about this game. Which is, if you watch Ego Raptor sequelitis about Ocarina of Time, it it makes sense. It makes sense of why Ocarina of Time was not actually the best game ever. Well, of course now, maybe back then, yes. But if you play it now, it kind of shit. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You had to have played it. Yeah, back in you know back in its heyday yeah back in its heyday yeah of course that it was because i mean great now, the time but now like, we've yeah. played like so many other games that, that are like that have a leg up because of the fact that ocarina of time kind of paved the way for certain games you know what i mean yeah so what what breath of the wild is doing now is that it's really giving you an open world experience and here harold i gotta ask you what is the probably the best open world game you've ever played Ooh, dude i i can't say there's there's o- there's only one, you know. Like I've I've played World of Warcraft, I've played GTA, both San Andreas and Five. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, well, this you have, Skyrim. You have those on the list. You have those main titles on the list. Exactly. This game is actually you could put it up there in the games that do open world right, because Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. Because yeah, one, yeah. One, because Legend of Zelda has always been about exploration, discovering mm-hmm. things without without it hand holding you. This is the least hand holding Zelda game ever. It doesn't tell you. There's no tutorial. Maybe the beginning to press A, but that's it. But everything you have to figure out on your own. A lot of the the small things I figure out, like how I didn't figure out how to cook until an NPC told me. And you have, and there is possibly a a ninety nine percent chance you will not talk to this NPC. Is he the one at the start? Because he taught me how to cook. Oh, if you're a guy who just keeps pressing B to skip the dialogue, then yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. When you start the game... You are, sorry, you are that guy, though. You, you are that guy. Here's the thing. At the start of the game, at the start of the game, you don't have to talk to that guy. You don't yeah, that's true. You can just you run, can, you run right past him. You don't have to go start your main quest. Heck, spoiler alert. Just saying, spoiler alert. You can freaking find the Master Sword without even doing the first main mission, if you want. Well, maybe the first main mission, but like you can... Once you get the paraglider... <laughs> yeah, you, once you get that, you can run right to the end game boss and get your ass handed to you. Like, yeah, that this you can do anything in this game without having to follow the main quest. That's yeah. what I love the most because you you're not limited to where you can go because the main quest isn't done. Yeah, and like an ordinary yeah. enough time where you you couldn't go to Death Mountain unless you got this stupid letter from Zelda, which allows mm. you to go to which allows yeah. you to go there, right? Yeah, yeah. So anything you can see. That you can visually see, you can go to. You have you, you can possibly go to because they have a they have a climbing mechanic. Oh yeah, yeah. They have they have a climbing mechanic to it. Um, they uh, what else? Like the maps are huge. But the thing is, if you compare yeah. it to other maps like GTA, GTA I guess in, in proportion to the characters way bigger. But if you think about it, Breath of the Wild is big relative to Link's size, which is great. But what yeah. makes it even better is that it's the height in terms of like um you can instead of just going from like left or right very far away you can you, you scale mountains you go under caves yeah under i was gonna ditches. say gta doesn't have uh, an underground puzzle system you know like yeah it it doesn't look it doesn't look big from the map like if you go to the mini the the the, the, the world map it doesn't look exactly as it's not as big as other open world games but it's because it has uh, a vertical height, vertical limit, a vit- vertical. Um, how would you put that? Horizon. So because, Ver- uh, yeah, whatever, vertical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm naming bands now. I'm just naming bands up. now. No, but yeah, it makes sense. You can climb up mountains. You can go down ditches. You're not limited um, horizontally. You can go vertically, which makes it such a big world. Um, even like here, you know, you know that there's like um, towers to climb, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, what do you call them in Assassin's Creed where you, you have to climb this tower and, uh, and you, you do the eagle points. vision thing? Yeah, the eagle vision thing. Okay, you know, this game does it better than Assassin's Creed. Oh, so, because, I, so I've seen and heard. Because, because you don't have... Because here, it doesn't, sound, it doesn't seem like a chore. Doing quests here doesn't seem like a chore. Going to mm-hmm. viewpoints doesn't seem like a chore because in each section of a map where you only have one viewpoint and that one viewpoint, okay, you have to climb it, get it. But... When you climb it and you and you and you you and you eagle vision, so to speak, and when you get you get you get uh, yeah everything in that portion of the entire map is revealed, it shows you nothing but the map and the landscape. It doesn't show you the unlockables. It doesn't show you the treasure chests, the small quests. It shows you nothing, mm-hmm. and that's a good thing because at least because of you because now at least you have everything on the mini map. You can. It gives you the. It gives you the ability to discover things on your own. It doesn't mm-hmm. seem like it's a checklist. Yeah, yeah. Because in Assassin's Creed, once you once you um, eagle vision uh, a certain area of the map, a certain town, it's like, oh my god, I have so many things to to do. Exactly. But in this, it's like, what am like? I can't wait to find out what I'm gonna do next. That's the yeah. beauty of this game so much is that there's yeah. so much things to discover, and it's the puzzles, the puzzles are not too hard it's challenging it's the, the puzzles in this game are challenging and the, the, the puzzles is equally balanced with like uh the fight with other things if you want to do um uh they have these things called shrines where if you want to do uh short puzzles and like that because that's essentially doing these shrines 
uh, will help you get the small heart. Well, the I forgot what the spirit orbs, which is essentially the heart pieces. Yeah, it's like a break from the from like fighting enemies, fighting goblins, and whatnot. But the thing is, if you want to take a break from all the fighting and the main quests, you can jump to the, you can jump back to the shrines. Okay, I want to do some puzzles. There's so much to do. It just that you have to discover it first. Yep. And yeah, exactly. And they equally balance the you know the fighting mechanics, the exploring mechanics with everything else. They yeah. they, they they balance those two things out. Like actually, I can go. I can go on with this, but we only got like a, like a fifteen more minutes. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm take, gonna take a breath. Take a breath, and <gasps> we're gonna we're gonna move on. We're gonna power forward. Yeah, gonna power forward. Now I want to jump straight to the shitty things about this game. God damn it! This game has the worst has the worst fucking weapon mechanics ever. The wep the weapon system sucks balls. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna trim this later on and make this like your angry review for 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 Legend of Zelda. Yeah, keep going. I, I, I feel the same way about the weapon mechanics, but yeah, uh, uh, go 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 ahead. Yeah, you know, everyone has been giving this game 10 out of 10s for being great. Yes, I agree. It is a great game, but you have to remember that this game has its flaws, and the biggest flaw is probably the inventory mm -hmm. and weapons. So lack system. of salt, which is which is something essential to all your gaming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here, first things first. Um, they do away with the Master Sword. You don't get that till later. I mean, you can you have to find it, for God's sakes. So, because it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. So take this. But the thing is... Sorry, here. princess. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Excuse me. Princess. <laughs> so, like... Uh, I like For those of you who don't know, that's that was part of the Legend of Zelda cartoon. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's... I will... Let's, not, let's never have... We can use that like sound bites. We can use sound bites from that. Yeah, well, okay. uh, well, the next show I'll bring it up as a, as a video clip, and then yeah, I'll, I'll clip out the the audio from there. But yeah, sorry, go on. <laughs> okay, well, so uh, back into the weapon system. Uh, it's great that they have like a variety of weapons for you to choose from. You have great swords, you have great axes, you have bows, of course. Um, you have you have short swords and you have boomerangs. There's a lot of stuff to choose from. It's a lot of stuff the, to break. It's a lot of stuff. That's the thing. As an exploration game, there are so many nice weapons for you to find, but you never want to use them because they're going to break. It's like, so like, true. Like, it's so like, painful. Yeah, and like sometimes you're caught at, this, at these points where I'm just going to fight shitty monsters. I might as well use shitty weapons for them, but no, I don't have shitty weapons to, sh I don't have shitty weapons to waste on these shitty monsters. So I'm going to have to use something. <laughs> I have to use a, a nice weapon to kill shitty monsters. <laughs> and then next thing I know... They break. And so there's... that's the thing. They break in the middle of a fight. Like, there's no, there's no mercy, man. They break in the middle of a fight. They, they, they break while you're, while you're trying to, you know, trying to fight a boss, trying to fight a little minion. It doesn't matter, man. You, you fight, a, you fight a, a little sheep or a little fox on the side, and it'll friggin' break. There's no remorse. Heck, when you cut a tree, it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it'll, I mean... Of course, there's a, a significant amount of hits, but for a game that um, needs you to consistently... Well, not consistently. You have to, like... There are points where some monsters are just super hard to kill, so you're going to have to sh hit them around 10 times. And by the time you, you, you're done with that batch of monsters, your really nice weapon's already almost... You know, almost, almost gone. And it, it hurts. It, it hurts. It hurts. I mean, I get also that... Um, it's okay. Every monster you can pick up every monster's weapon. Every monster has almost almost every monster has a weapon for you to use. But sometimes <laughs> their weapons are shitty. Exactly. You know, and it's it's not like uh, how do I say this? It's it's not like every we yeah exactly. It's it's not like every weapon you get is is a gem. You know, you you tend to have that. That hoarding mentality where you're like, you know what? I'm going to save this really good sword for later. Because I'm really going to use it later when it's when it really counts. <laughs> yeah. And then when, when later happens, you're like, do I really want to use it? You know what I mean? I, I, I might need it later. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, <laughs> exactly. I've been saving an ice broadsword <laughs> since the second, since I got to Kakariko Village. And I've never used it after. 
And like I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna use it for I'm gonna use it for the boss in Death Mountain because it's I'm, obviously it's fire based. Yeah, it's, but it's no, Death when Mountain. I got there, when I got there, uh, I never even used it because I had another weapon that was oh, that that would have just worked just fine. And that's that's the thing. It's that's that's the negative of a system like this. That's what comes with a system like this is you get that remorse you get that guilty hoarding feeling where it's like ah I'll use it later you know and it it eats away at you because by the end of the game let's say you do finish the game you're like I could have used that sword and made things quicker <laughs> you know I could have died a little less during that one boss fight <laughs> yeah that's true but I found a workaround around I, I found a workaround for it though that ice broadsword and that fire sword I have that I've never used <laughs> I use the ice sword to cool myself down in Death Mountain, because uh, just so you know, for those listening, in this game you have a temperature gauge. So if you're up in the mountains, mm-hmm. it freezes cold and you get damage. If you're in the volcano, it's too hot. Or if you're in the desert, it's too hot, to take damage. So you counter that by wearing clothes that give you mm-hmm. certain, uh, cooling effects or uh, heat warming effects. And then actually, by, by having a, a, an ice sword, it lowers your body temperature in hot places. So yeah. That's only so it essentially you could say that those <laughs> those swords are more cosmetic than actually a weapon. <laughs> and actually, yeah, that's that's very true. Well, not cosmetic since they do have a bit of a function. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. But you know, they're they're more of key items than 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 usable items. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're things that you you whip out. Uh, for for survival purposes more than all right, I'm gonna kill you with this thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have been fine if they, they would just like, okay, it breaks, but you can repair it. That would have been fine. Because that would have been totally fine. That would have been so much better. The difficulty would have stayed the same. I guess this whole weapon breaking thing would have just it's just like a a pseudo way of inciting difficulty, but it just makes things more. It's just making it ir- irritating. Yeah, and they're trying to give you that whole um, yeah. Every monster drops a weapon, so you don't feel bad. But you know, not not all those weapons are good. A lot of them fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. you want to move on? <laughs> That's all I yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 uh, we're gonna talk more about Breath of the Wild in future shows. Uh, j- just just so people know. <laughs> keep I keep yeah. messing up with that. But yeah, uh, so. Uh, we got to get to other news because you got to get going in just a little bit. Yeah, we uh, got like this, I literally got 13 minutes left. Well, I mean, ooh, ooh, 13 yeah. minutes. We can do a lot with 13 minutes, DZ. Don't worry. All right, real quick announcement to to help our fellow gamers out. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda dropped today, so so get it t- today. Yeah, I this god, I've never played this game. <laughs> You've never played any Mass Effect. Am I am I, I getting tried. that right? I tried. I tried playing Mass Effect series, but um, I it was at that point where I stopped, where I didn't like RPGs, where you have to just... We you talk to an NPC, you have three options. Good, bad, or neutral, whatever. I, I hated mm-hmm. that. I hated that system. Oh, okay. I, I like that system, because what, what, what brought me into that system was uh, Knights of the Old Republic, KOTOR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it was a really good game, like, playing as Darth Revan and everything. I, 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 could, I could actually do a... A segment of uh, an entire different video on on how much I love uh, Knights of the Old Republic, but yeah, get Mass Effect Andromeda t- today. And other uh, more relevant news. Oh, sorry, what's yes. up? No, no, I was gonna say that. Yeah, Mass Effect, great. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Mass Effect. I actually, actually, also got Mass Effect from the Origin sale, so I'm I'm gonna be playing that pretty oh, soon. Nice. I'm, I might wait like three months when I get my when I finally get my fiber internet, and so I can so I can stream it. You know, like a first time playthrough thing. So oh, we'll okay. see. Yeah, but if I can't wait, I'll just play it. Uh, in other news, more relevant news to, to you and I, uh, yes. there's this little new character that, uh, that, that came out on, on one of the games that we like. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. That's, that's kind of loud. Orissa, <laughs> dude. Orissa is finally out in the live servers, and I got to play her a little bit uh, before the show. It's fun. It's really fun. The immovable tank. Yeah, uh, she pretty much plays like a a ranged Reinhardt, so it's good. Did you ever catch her during the PTR days? Because her PTR stage was fucking bonkers, man. 
No, I, I I make it a point not to play the PTR because I know I'll get disappointed if I'm, if an ability doesn't make the final cut or, uh, and also nothing you do in the PTR counts in your statistics. And you know, if <laughs> yeah. I if I kill like eighty people, I want people to know that I killed eighty people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So <laughs> well, at least there are people who go to the PTR because without without you playtesters. We'd have imbalanced heroes. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. Oops. I keep doing yeah, that. Yeah. I keep doing yeah, but maybe maybe if, after this whole Legend of Zelda craze, I'll jump back into it and see what I can do with Ariza, Arisa, whatever, however you pronounce it. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot. Uh, oh, Rise of the Old Republic. But yeah, uh, really fun character. I really suggest, you know, when you when you do have some time to, to test her out because it's really fun. Uh Again, it plays like a ranged Reinhardt, which means you're bulky, and you can do damage without getting too close. Yeah. Yeah, so... And it's it's yeah. nice how, like, I like her one skill where she literally cannot be moved. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, was... Like, uh, it's, it's her left shift. It's, it's, it's yeah. fun. It's basically, the, it, it can block almost anything, especially Reinhardt's hammer. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. One, one thing. I, one thing before we before we end the show. Uh, one thing I really like is the accuracy of her gun, because it, it doesn't do so much damage, but you have the volume of you, know, you uh. have a whole lot of bullets, and it's pretty accurate. The spread isn't that big, so you could you could you could still be accurate from range. Is it like so? And it, her gun fires like Bastion, right? It's it's a literally mach, a machine gun. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those Gatling guns. Oh my god! You have a walking Bastion. <laughs> And uh, I like that. The, and and adding to the Bastion buff now, Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, uh, Bastion's fun. Bastion is fun yeah. right now. Oh yeah, Bastion's better to play now. Bastion is way better to play. <sighs> Overwatch. Uh, yeah, that's it. We, we did it. We we knocked down a show, man. We we knocked we knocked the show down. <laughs> oh, and and, and more that, to come. I'm I'm just looking at the time now, man. That rant on that Legend of Zelda bit went by pretty fast. And we could we we could have gone for way longer. We we could have yeah, gone for way longer. There's so much more for us to tackle on that, but maybe we'll do that again next week with Mick oh, yeah. or Bobby. Oh, Bob, I, have to, I have to tell you about Bobby. <laughs> Who's Bobby? I have another. I have another. <laughs> I have another potential guest for the show. I love how you sprung that up like in the middle of another show. But I have, yeah, I have like, like five potential guess that i can tell, talk to you about Ooh, should we should we like do a survivor style uh game show where they <laughs> where, we, where they vote each other out like should we... <laughs> <laughs> maybe if we were like in the one million sub uh um part of the world maybe then we can we can we have the <laughs> we that's can how we that. get there man we, we we pit them against each other then we go viral that's, that's how we do it <laughs> fight for the next guest <laughs> yeah dude are you kidding me Okay, okay. Well, one day, one day. One day. All right, so it's been a while, man. It's been a couple weeks, so uh, I forgot what what song I play at the end. (laughs) I forgot what song I play at the end. Uh, Is that it? No, 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 uh, it's it's this one, it's this one. Okay, go ahead. Oh, my God. All right, so Diego Z, it's the end of the show. So tell the fine folks at home where they can find you when you're not on Game Byte. Okay, when I'm not on Game by you guys can check out my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash the photography. And until I can get a PC, I will be, well, when I get a PC, I will be streaming on Twitch. Uh, it'll be at InstaDZ. You can check out my Instagram and Twitter, which is also at InstaDZ. Spelling is under my face under there. But for those yeah. who are probably just doing this for the audio's sake, that's InstaDEEZEE. And for those... And, I haven't been streaming much for Overwatch, but if you want to catch my Overwatch streams, you can check out check me out just on my personal Facebook page. Just look for the Salty Spadoon, and that's where it is. All right, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight, DZ. I, I can't wait for next week's show. Um, yes. Aside from that, uh, the Quit Stalling podcast has been rebranded. It's not. It's no longer the talk show because I realized it wasn't really a talk show. Uh, it is now going to be called the Quit Slong Podcast, and it's going to be back next week on Monday uh, around 8 p.m. Philippine time if I can get a stream going. Uh, it'll be with Gallard and James, so I'm, I'm pretty psyched for that. And we're going to be going once a week until I find more co-hosts for that as well. So, 
Um, yeah, so check that out. Uh, if you want to find me on the interwebs, aside from Game Bite and aside from the Quit Selling Podcast, head on over to Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Harold Plays. Uh, I'm on YouTube and Twitch.tv at Harold Plays as well. Uh, if you want to find out about more about me and Diego Z and in the rest of the crew at Quit Stalling, head on over to www.quitstalling.us uh, and check out our social media, Instagram at Quit Stalling, Twitter at Quit Stalling US, uh, Facebook.com slash Quit Stalling US, or again, we, we call it Quit Stalling US because it's Quit Stalling Us. Um, find us on I iTunes. we were American. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, America. America. Uh, we're at SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash quit stalling. Uh, find us on iTunes and the Google Play Store. Uh, search for quit stalling or for Game Bite. And anything else I forgot to mention? Oh, check out our YouTubes. Head on over to YouTube and search for quit stalling. We're going to be there. Uh, this is, that's been it for episode nine. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, DZ. Uh, yes, I will sir. see you same next week. Uh, hopefully, we can we can figure out which guests we're gonna have on. Yes, sir. I'll yeah, figure it uh, out. I'll figure it out over the weekend. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll talk. Uh, we'll, I'll see you tomorrow in, in in person. Anyway, I gotta get you. I gotta get you your gift. Your your America gift. <laughs> sure thing, man. Thank you. No sweat, dude. Thank you, everyone. We will see you same bad. No, not same bad time. Same bad. Uh, we'll see you guys next week on Game Bite. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, quit stalling, get off your butt and do something good. <laughs>